Hello, hypertension resistors. So today I want to talk about the COVID epidemic, why we should continue COVID testing, and India's use of ivermectin. Let's get to it. Extremely unlikely that we will have a resurgence of disease to the extent we've seen before because we've got a large number of people vaccinated. But I think we can be certain of one thing is that this virus will continue to transmit and we're not safe here or around the world until everyone is protected from the virus. That was Professor Sir Andrew Poehler, the director of the Oxford Vaccine Group, several months ago. But here is what he said recently. And I quote, as I've been saying, the noble lie is being revealed step by step. Herd immunity is not a possibility because the Delta variant still infects vaccinated individuals. And he went on to say, there is nothing the UK can do to stop the emergence of new variants. And he admitted that he says, I think we are in a situation here with the current variant. Now, this is a professor in the United Kingdom. He's talking about United Kingdom situation and United Kingdom. Keep in mind, their vaccination rate is much higher than the United States vaccination rate. Matter of fact, some experts are looking at the United Kingdom and using the United Kingdom, the UK, as a model to make decisions about what we're doing here in the United States. So as you can see, this is very important to know his observations of the COVID Delta variant. According to U.S. News, Germany is ending free COVID-19 testing for its citizens beginning in October. And this is done in part to encourage more people to get vaccinated. Dr. Mike Ryan with the World Health Organization, he will tell us the importance of knowing how many cases and how many deaths we have from COVID-19. And we need to know how many people are vaccinated or unvaccinated. The better we prepare, the more ready we are to respond. The faster we identify new infectious disease risks, the faster we can respond. The more adaptable and agile we are, the more effective our response will be. None of this is possible without better data, analytics, and insights uh, to improve the speed and adaptability of our response in real time to understand what's happening around us in the biologic world. It's only by looking at all of these data that we can gain an insight into what's happening dynamically within our populations and how our populations are reacting to the presence of disease. And how can we make the insights we generate available so that decision makers like Minister Spahn and others can make better, faster uh, decisions, both nationally and globally. So we really should continue testing for COVID-19 and treating patients early, early on with the treatments that are available. So let's now turn our attention to trial site news with Adrian. Now, Adrian has been following uh, ivermectin and the usefulness of ivermectin in India, and he has uh, some information that is very important to know. Now, keep in mind that the World Health Organization does not recommend ivermectin as a treatment for COVID-19. And the FDA has posted on their website that animal grade of ivermectin is unsafe in human. And the FDA does not recommend ivermectin to be used to treat COVID-19 other than in a clinical trial. Now, the National Institute of Health, the NIH, does not endorse ivermectin, nor does it condemn ivermectin. As always, I do not give medical advice. I'm not your doctor. This information is for educational purposes only. This is not medical advice. Contact your health care provider for any medical advice. Here is Adrian. Recently, a prominent Indian physician, Dr. Lenita Costa, went on the record to discuss the story of India 
involving ivermectin treatments there. Back on May 12th, Uttar Pradesh's Director General of Medical and Health Services, Dr. Anshul Parikh, led the state's health department through the COVID-19 crisis and added ivermectin to its large-scale prophylactic program with a focus on close contacts of COVID-19 patients, health workers, and general care of COVID-19 patients, and eventually an aggressive home care program. Now, by May 30th of 2021, we here at Trial Site News shared the incredible turnaround. Dr. DaCosta shared that the rapid decline of these skyrocketing cases was due to the massive public health program, which involved the free home medicine kits. Dr. DaCosta took the position that the key to the success was the ability of ivermectin to inhibit transmission of the virus, especially among household contacts, which seemed to work incredibly well. He claimed that the successful containment in the second wave was primarily due to ivermectin, doxycycline, zinc, and vitamin C used early on, meaning right when the first symptoms appear. Now, according to the doctor, early care was the key to success in India, turning around the deadly second Delta variant triggered wave. So my message here again today is to make sure that you get yourself vaccinated. Make sure you follow the public health measures, at least wear your mask when you're inside and when you're around anyone who is not part of your household. Also, continue to take your vitamin D supplement and your zinc and your C as recommended by your healthcare provider. So this is not medical advice. And if you get sick, get tested. I will continue to do everything I can to not get this virus. I won't give up. And I hope you won't either. So that's all I have for you today. Stay tuned to Hypertension Resistant to Treatment, where I'll tell you everything you ought to know about hypertension and trending health topic. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.